the Galapagos Marine Reserve was established in 1998 to protect this unique ocean habitat. It's an important stopping off point for these bizarre and beautiful migratory creatures. Scalloped hammerhead sharks. Great schools of them come together here. But this incredible spectacle might not last forever because this endangered species is in decline. Sitting at the top of the food chain, they're also critical to the balance of life in the ocean. So their loss would affect this entire ecosystem. To protect the scalloped hammerhead, Eduardo is turning his attention to the next generation. Pregnant females come to these waters to give birth, but soon leave the pups to their own devices. So these mother sharks that travel for thousands of miles in the ocean exactly. come here to the Galapagos, give birth, and off and they go. And we, we don't know what they are doing after that juvenile and just born. So that is why we have to tag them to look out where they are going after that. Knowing exactly where the young hammerheads go next will eventually help to make the case for protecting waters beyond the Galapagos. Eduardo's aim today is to tag as many as possible, which means tracking them down deep within the island's mangroves. And so the mangroves, it's impenetrable yeah, forest, exactly. so it's difficult to see from exactly. the water. Perfect place for um, baby sharks to hang exactly. out. Exactly. So we are looking for some other places that we haven't been finding before. So if I can help in any way, let me yeah, know. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Not help just teas and coffees. That's, <laughs> I, don't, I don't, want, don't want that job. OK. Eduardo's scouring the mangroves for hammerhead nurseries. And the best way to do that is from the air. Okay. So this okay? is the mangrove area. So there's like a creek that goes in into the mangroves there. Yeah, that kind of area is going to be difficult to go inside with a boat. So the drone from the air is going to give us a better idea of where the hammerhead are. Ah, very good, very good. Eduardo spots what seem to be the silhouette of young hammerheads. It's a shark nursery, a patch of water no bigger than a tennis court, concealed in waters the size of England. Eduardo's team only found the first of these in 2017, and he's now using the drone to search for others. It's so difficult to find it, difficult to go inside. But this is the right place. Okay. Now we can follow the drone into the mangroves in the hope of tagging some of those precious babies. It's a beautiful place. Yeah, it's incredible. You see there? Look at that. Such an incredible place. There's a big turtle right in front of us there. There's life everywhere. You can see here, eager ray. For endangered sharks, these mangroves are the perfect place to give birth, teeming with small crustaceans for the babies to eat, but safe from larger predators. It's OK, we're good. We can squeeze through. Some very skillful boat driving. Just one more branch to get under. Eventually, we arrive at the spot where Eduardo caught a glimpse of young sharks from the drone. Shh. They are here. Oh, there's a hammerhead there, look. Ah, there is one. And there is another one. OK, here is the place. Did you see? One, two, three. OK, here are the hammerhead. I think I've ever seen so many sharks in one place. Look at them, so beautiful. To closely monitor this population of sharks, the team wants to tag as many babies as possible. It's definitely two, three, there's at least three hammerheads in this area that we're just encircling with a net. Trata de acercarte lo que más puedas a las piedras y las raíces. Que llegue a las raíces. They are coming here. 
To fit the tags, the team will be up against the clock. We have to be very fast because the, the hammerhead cannot be outside of the water more than two minutes, okay. maybe less, 1.5 minutes is the maximum time to have on board. Pásame el bisturí. Okay, we have one. Yeah, it's a hammer. Okay. Vamos, tú ponte de lado allá. Okay, the first one. Well done. Vamos. No, cógelo. That is a beautiful shark. It's a very small, so we have to run. De la red. 56. Eh, macho eh, cerrado, déjame ponerle la marca. Esto es rápido. 23.07. After just 90 seconds out of the water, the sharks can begin to lose consciousness. 1.5. We have to release quickly. Toma, libéralo. Yo, no, coge este, coge este, libéralo. Dale notificación que este ya está marcado. Rápido. Sharks can be revived by mimicking a swimming motion to flush water through their gills. Well done. One and a half minutes from water to water. Very impressive. Let's go, guys. There is another one. Sí, ya está. Ya se fue. Ya se fue. Ya se fue. Vamos. Rápido, chicos. 13. Vamos. Peso, peso, peso. 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 Like a well-oiled machine. Trabaja rápido, chicos. It's like a Formula One car in a pit stop. Tienes que pedir permiso. Sí, sí, ahí. But there's a problem. One of the hammerheads isn't responding. No, no la estoy tocando. She is not breathing too well. Necesito la máscara. It didn't dart off, which showed that it wasn't breathing properly, so Eduardo has jumped in. Máscara. Just make sure it's fully breathing before he lets it go. We have to be sure that he's going to be alive. We can go with him. I'm struck by how determined Eduardo is to care for every single shark. Finally revived, this pup returns to its nursery. With numbers so low, they all matter. This is our home, you know, and we have to keep alive the nature. This is so important for us. Okay, well done, everybody. We made a very good job. Amazing. Um, so we catch at least five. Five. Five of them. Um, but all of them are still in the same environment with a problem, and we take data for consulting. Yeah. Eduardo wants to track the movements of as many hammerheads as he can once he leaves these nurseries. Knowing where they go, he then hopes to press for better protection right along their Pacific migration routes beyond the Galapagos. And as he searches for more babies to tag, aerial technology will be key. It's so important to have that kind of technology and give us an opportunity to find some new nursery grounds for protecting nature for the future generations. Mm. I feel very lucky to be here to watch you do this work. It's, it's been amazing. Time to come here. Welcome anytime. <laughs> With so many sharks killed every year, the protection they get here in the Galapagos is critical.